Hi everyone and welcome to the default scene. My name is Jacob and I'll be taking you through this tutorial today. This tutorial will go over how to track vertical video in Blender 2.93. So let's get started. Step 1 is to load your footage into the movie clip editor. Set the scene frames and add some trackers. I took this footage from my phone from a stable position. You can see that the original shot was vertical, but when I load it into Blender it's horizontal. That's okay. Just track your footage like a normal piece of footage. And once you're done, head over to the Solve tab and solve your track. Then, create a tracking scene and select one tracker to be your origin. Step two is to place your camera correctly in the 3D scene. This requires a little bit of craning your neck to look at your computer screen sideways. For me, I just select the camera and rotate it around the 3D cursor until the camera is in the right position. Next, I'll adjust the lighting and jump into the compositor to see what the render looks like. Now you can see that we have a landscape video and if I change the aspect ratio in the settings, it just squishes the footage. It doesn't actually change the video to a vertical video. I also can't just rotate the footage because the render is based on the orientation of the camera, which is based on the footage that we imported into Blender. So how do we get around this? Well, there are two ways. The first way is to render out everything horizontally and then bring it into your favorite NLE like Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or even the Blender VSE. You can rotate the video to a horizontal position and then export it. But that's actually an extra step. We can use the Blender VSE to go ahead and cut one step out. So now let's get on to step three. Set all your render settings and finalize everything. Once you're done, create a new scene I'll just click copy settings. In the new scene, open up a video editing workspace and change your aspect ra ratio to a portrait aspect ratio. Finally, add in the scene that has your tracked footage and your 3D assets into your timeline. In the footage properties under the transform drop down menu, just rotate the footage until it has the correct orientation. Do a quick render to verify that everything is going right and then render out your footage. It's important to note that the render settings are scene specific. So each new scene has new render settings. The render settings from your tracked footage will apply to the render there and then that render is imported into your new scene and exported as your video file. So if you need to change render settings, go back to the scene that has your tracking data and your 3D assets. Any render settings that you change in the new scene will not affect your original scene. I hope this helps you out. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.